Hey there guys, okay so we're back again, I've done a little tweaking and figuring out and it looks like everything is working again now, like I say we're just going to do a quick flight, uh, buh, 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 buh. let's just make sure that it's working, control axis is this one here, uh, propeller is that one, yep that's working, throttle axis one, that's working, and throttle to excellent right so it's all working now that should be it right let's go into this mission what are we doing resort supply so we know what we've got to do we've got to deliver these apples right hopefully it'll be all right now turn that all off let's turn everything on then we'll turn it off. Right. All right, the apples are all loaded up, so we're good to go. You do the flying, I'll handle the radios. Go ahead and start the engines. Okay, so... This is an uncontrolled airport, so there's nobody to grant taxi clearance. Taxi to runway two whenever you're ready. Okay, so first things first, actually. We can zoom in a bit more here. Yeah. Alright, first things first. Master switch is on. Avionics on. Right, that's on. The ISA pilot heat landing, taxi strobe, navigation, and beacon. Right, just gonna make sure that. He's all working now, yeah, they're all working. There's no pushback. Good. Right. Start the engines, let's make sure our emergency brake is on. Engine started. Okay. Cool. Oops, he's there. There we go. Right, engine started. Propellers are in place. That's working. Brakes are working. Right, away we go. Right, so we're going to turn right this time. This should be a pretty straightforward flight. First we'll fly north up the valley and make two stops to drop off these apples at Metal Valley and Lost River. Then we'll hop us over the mountains to Stahican so I can pick up them all. The other new guy dead sticked in yesterday when he ran out of fuel. I had to take a boat all the way back down the lake. There's a can of gas in the back so I can ferry them all back here. Okay, so the throttle's working fine. Happy about that. Right, we're going straight over the uh, runway. Clear left, clear right.
Okay, so looking good, looking very good. Everything's nice. Done all our checks. I think what we'll do is we'll put one level of flaps down. Growl like gaming. Hey there. Growly gaming. How you doing mate? Welcome. Has your day been growling? You been alright? Alright, let's go for a take. Wake Cheyenne traffic, they're in one Foxtrot Sierra departing to the northeast. Just like this, uh Aircraft is pulling to the right slightly. Alright, let's take off. Looking good. Nice smooth take off. Landing gear up. You can use a GPS to fly direct to Meadow Valley State if you want, but it's more fun to stay low and just follow the valley north. The identifier for the airport is Sierra 52 if you want to use the GPS. For now, just follow the river northeast. Really, we should put a trim on the controls here, but won't worry about that for now. Okay, so you say follow the river. Right, so over here we have our map. We're now currently over the river. I checked with flight service and the Okanagan MOA is inactive right now, but I'll check with Seattle Center again before we enter it. Right, so we're just following the river along, enjoying the uh, scenery. Yeah, I really should put the, uh, the trim on the joystick here. It's a bit far to reach over there, especially when trimming the aircraft. Actually, let's do that real quick. So, uh, options, controls, uh, what are we looking at? Uh, the uh, flight stick and uh, control services, elevator trim. So elevator trim down. Lav oh we can't use that. Alright, um that one there, seven. And we'll make that light and elevator trim up. There, nine. There we go. And uh, the center is off. Okay, cool. Alright, let's continue. Let's see what that's done. So if we pull back, yeah, that works very nice. Lovely. Okay, so we got our trim on this uh, control here, which is fine. It's going to take a really nice low flight. dozens of times, but it seems more like hundreds. Maybe you can be a safety pilot for me sometime and I'll try it with my eyes closed. Just yeah, kidding. Okay, so we're just flying down the river. Okay, we're gonna take off some of the uh, mixture, save a bit of fuel, and also some of the propeller. He 
even though it doesn't really matter. Nice, literally fly up the river. Staying pretty low as well. It's like we're about a hundred feet, which is cool. Right, landing lights off, taxi lights off. So we just got strobe, the navigation, and the beacon. turns east up ahead, stop following it and fly northwest up the valley. Okay, so... It's us to fly northwest. Stay under 300 feet. We should be all right when it comes to the uh, MOD people. But I doubt that's going to happen simply because looking at the uh, waypoint, it's going to take us over there. So. Looks like we're going to have to climb up a bit. There must be a run on apple pie at these resorts. Or maybe the road's closed from all the snow we had. A pretty quick trip in the Barren, but personally, I'd rather be flying the mall into these short strips. Okay, let's have a look now. Can we actually follow the valley and get around there? Let's follow the valley and see what happens. where we stay under the 300. So just following this road. There's another airport, Twisp, just south of Medhal Valley State. I made the mistake of landing there the first time we came up here. Never heard the end of it. Max didn't like his pilot wasting fuel. Maybe that's why the new guy puts his luck. Just following the road, looking good. It's coming up to 270, I think that is. No, one, one, four hundred, so that's fine.
very low. But we're alright. Doing good. The road goes round to the right and then round to the left. Great job so far. The best way to get to Meadow from here is to follow the river valley to the northeast. Okay, follow the river, river valley towards the northeast. I totally forgot stage. to call center. Keep your eyes open that. and I'll find out what's going on. I saw Seattle that. Seattle Center, Baron 71 Fox. Look, there they are. Baron 71 Fox. Seattle Center, go ahead. Uh, one Fox Trot Sierra just south of Twisp. Is the Okanagan Bravo MOA hot right now? 71 Fox Trot Sierra, stand by. Baron 71 Foxtrot Sierra, affirmative. The Okanagan Bravo MOA is active this morning from 0800 to 1000 local time, 300 to 9000 feet. Jeff Barr is at your own risk. All right, thanks. 71 Foxtrot Sierra. Well, this isn't good, but we're almost to the airport, so let's keep going. Tell you what, we're almost to the excluded area around Twisp, so let's go down below 300 feet and hope we don't have any close encounters. I think we're definitely under 300 feet. I hope we are. Can't get any much lower than that. Well, let's see. Anyway, 200 and... Oh, 170. This guy's got us in trouble. So we're going up to 1,500.
must be the other airport that he landed up mistakenly. Oops. We got flaps up. I wonder if we're going so slow. Okay, so. Let's put our flaps down again, anyway. Favors landing on one three. Nobody's in the pattern. Let's enter for left traffic on one three. All right, one three, one three. So we got go around left traffic on a one three. So we got fly over the runway and then um, come in on one three. Flaps up. Okay. There's the runway there. Meadow Valley traffic, Baron 1 Fox Trot Sierra, entering a left downwind from the south for 1 3. Coming about three miles out. Ah, two miles would do. Right. Flaps down. Four thousand five hundred. Looking for the runway, we have the runway in sight. Okay, Get too tight. All right, four flaps. Landing gear down. It's pitching up slightly. There we go. Looking good. Over a hundred knots. Okay, here we go. The resort van is parked on the north. 
northeast side of the field. Taxi up and I'll help on the apples. Beautiful land, dude. Break on. Right, looks like we're not close enough yet. The apples are all unloaded. Taxi back to runway one three for our departure. Runway one three. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to actually taxi on the runway. Okay, so Traffic bear in one Foxtrot Sierra departing northwest bound. Eighty knots. Road take. There we go. Lovely takeoff. The border of the MOA is only about five miles north. northwest of here. Flat we stay low and keep our eyes open. We should be okay. Okay, let's continue northwest up the valley to Lost River. The identifier is Whiskey 12 if you want to use the GPS. Stay low for now. Okay, so 20 miles up the Lost River. Spin around. Let's stay low. Two thousand eight hundred coming down. Right, let's 
chimney aircraft. There goes some more F-18s. Alright, there's not much we can do about that. Lost controls. Oh no. We've lost controls. Oh no. We've lost all controls. Uh oh, looks like they're coming back for another look. Just keep heading northwest. All controls is dead. Um. Let's see if they come back. Have they come back? Yeah, they're back. Whew. Right, so there's definitely something wrong with my USB controller, so... According to the GPS and the chart, we're clear of the MOA right about here. Let's continue up the valley as long as the weather's okay, and let's climb to 3,500 feet. Alright, climbing to 3,500. So... Altitude. 3,500. There we go. tight one because the mountains in the way so what we'll do is pull to the left the 
then we have to make a heavy turn to the right. At the airport up ahead. Looks like the wind is coming from southeast. Fly over the airport to check for obstructions, then circle to land on runway 11. So, we gotta take a heavy turn right in there. So we'll go right the way up. Lost for traffic, Baron 1 Foxtrot Sierra is overflying the airport to maneuver for a right downwind to land on runway 1 1. Alright. Put a pilot off. Flaps down full. Okay, so we're going to be turning right as soon as we get clear of this mountain here. So we're going to pull to the left slightly just to give ourselves enough room. And now we want to turn to the right. Nice tight turn, bit of throttle, so we don't lose too much speed. There we go. There we go. Landing gear down. Flaps full. It's gonna be a tight one. Throttle set to idle. No speed brakes on this plane, so. Very tight. Careful of the trees below. Flare. There we go, we're down. Bit of a rough one, that one. Good landing. This one's a bit tricky. Very tricky. Just about made it. Taxi up to the resort to unload the apples. So we're gonna load these apples now. This is where we got stuck last time. So it wouldn't allow us to unload the apples.
Right, there we go. Okay, you're just about rid of me. Just a quick Excellent. hop southwest over the mountains to see he can stay. If you look at the GPS, its identifier is 6 Sierra Niner. Let's take off to the southeast on runway 11. Alright, taking off on runway 11. Flap set to full. Okay. Away we go. Lost River traffic. Baron One Fox Rod Sierra departing to the southeast. Flaps up. Keep climbing as we head down the valley. Once we gain some altitude, you can turn southwest and head for the airport. Thousand six hundred. Like we're clear of the mountains now, so we can head towards the airport. Uh, I think we'll climb to what are we at now? 5,000. We'll climb to about 8,000. Alright, altitude 8,000. There we go. Head in. Two one. It's a bit too much, I don't know. Let's go up a bit higher. Let's go up to about 10,000. Let's our climb speed to about 1,500. Just over 6,000 feet. Same through these clouds now. You know what? Just make it around ten. Oh, we are at ten. Around ten thousand feet.
coming up to 7,700. So another 2,300 to go, just under 2,000, just over 2,000 feet. There we go, 8,000. I know. Coming up to nine thousand eight thousand seven hundred. I lower our climb speed to about thousand now. We're struggling to get up there actually. Take it down to five hundred. Nine thousand six hundred almost at our destination altitude of ten thousand feet. Then we gotta come down again. Twelve point three miles to our destination. Leveling off now, hundred feet to go. Four thousand five hundred and eighty-eight high. Hey there, Mjok. Four five eight eight. How you doing, mate? Hope you have a good day. Baron One Fox Trot Sierra base. One Fox Trot Sierra, go ahead. We just had an interesting chat with some military folks. Seems they didn't like you participating in their training exercise. Max is pretty upset about this. Uh, hey, say again, you're breaking up. Having some radio problems here. One Fox Traviera, I'll keep it short. You're in big trouble. Roger, Baron One Fox Traviera. Alright, we're in big trouble. Don't let that worry. There's a shortage of pilots. What are they gonna do, fire us? Uh, don't answer that. My name is GDA Capon. Welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome to Man Cave. Just playing a little flight sim on the FSX, and I'm just doing one of the missions. Basically, delivering apples. Uh, we delivered two loads of apples to two resorts, and now we're going to pick up a mall that run out of fuel so we're going to drop off my co-pilot he's going to fly the mall Jock 4588 who's playing yeah no one's playing with me it's just uh, the computer Looks like okay, we've got no flight plan loaded. Yeah, I'm flying. Well, I've got it on autopilot at the moment, but I'm flying. Right, I think we'll come down to about 5,000 feet now. And now 
Our vehicle speed, 1,500. This runway is shorter and the valley's even tighter than the last one. Use the same technique and we should be fine. Let's land to the south. Right, I uh, will flaps down completely. Let's have a look now. Okay, so we got to land to the south. The wind's coming from... 4,588 Yeah, mate. Right, this is going to be a tight one. So what we do. We need to get down faster. Uh, 3,000 feet. Vertical speed. In fact, we're going to be coming in a bit too tight, so... Take off autopilot and we'll take control of the aircraft. We're coming into the valley. Why am I the only one watching? I'm not a big, big streamer, mate. I'm very small. My channel's very small. Um, I'm streaming on Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube. So there may be some people over on different channels or my other channels. Right, so we need to land towards the south. Which means... Let's have a look. Uh, can't quite see the runway there. Alright. A bit too high. Let's dip the nose so we can have a look. Okay, there we go. Land to south. Uh, that's going to be very steep. The wind is heading. Okay, here we go. So we'll fly over the runway. Yeah. Yeah, I see you're on Twitch. I think there's someone else. I don't know if they're on Twitch or stuff. I don't monitor which channel is which. The Hicken Traffic Baron 1 Foxtrot Sierra landing runway 13. Alright, they want me to land runway 13. I live in England. We don't have any states. Um, yeah, I live in England, United Kingdom. I live in a county which is Surrey, so South London. Okay, so what we'll do... Come over this way, wait till we get about two miles out. Then we'll do a hard right on ourselves in the valley. Yeah, we've got enough room there. About two and a half miles, give myself enough room. What's going on, Alcoma? Uh, English? Anglais? English? Do you speak English, mate? Alright, let's come around now. Oh, a bit of turbulence there. Alchemist, I sorry man, thought you spoke Korean at first, my bad. <laughs> no worries, man. How old are you? Me? I'm very old. I'm in my 40s, but I just reached 40. I'm actually 41. No worries, Alchemy. Right. Landing gear down. Okay. Looking good. Coming in on runway 13. 
release and it's quite a tight runway so here we go need to get our speed down can't lose any more speed because flaps are at full there's trees there on the uh, beginning of the runway so we can't go too low throttle set to idle right we're doing 134 knots, we need to slow down to about 80, 90. Lock 4588, what do you work for? In my full time job, in my real job, I'm a lorry driver, truck driver. So I drive articulated lorries. In my spare time, I love playing computer games, having fun, all that stuff, you know? Right, this is going to be a very, very Close call. I don't know if I'm going to be able to slow down enough. Come on, down you get, down you get. There we go, right, brakes on, brake on. I do, uh, short distance. Why does it take so long for your thing to say my comment? Good landing. Okay. Taxi over to the wall and I'll gas her up. The reason why it takes so long is because there's a massive delay on my stream. My stream has about 30 seconds to a minute delay because I'm multi-streaming to many different platforms. I'm streaming to three different platforms so there's a, a big delay on it. If I was streaming to just Twitch it would be a bit quicker. So, yeah that's why. Okay, so we're down safely. Are you a long or short distance lorry driver? I'm a short distance. I work for a uh, subcontractor and we basically haul uh, supermarket goods. Are we close enough? No, not quite. Let's move up a bit closer. Okay, see you back at Chelan. Just follow right. the lake all the way to the southeast and you'll be there in no time. The airport's just northeast of the end of the lake. And don't worry about the thing with the F-18s. I'll smooth it over when we get back. Okay, I drive a Actros 2545. It's a Mercedes Actros 2545. It's not a bad truck. It's a six-legger. So, yeah. Pretty decent actually. It's uh, it was made last year. 2017 model. Right, so we're going to be taking off on runway one three. So just getting as much space as we can because this runway is pretty short. Okay, turning back on ourselves now. There we go. Jock 4588, I love that kind of truck. Yeah, she's pretty, mate. She's very pretty. Very nice to drive get all the mod cons like aircon and uh, the sat nav and you've got GPS and stuff in fact if you go to one of my videos I did a um, on Twitch I did a little live stream from inside you can't see much of her but Jock 4588 yeah. I have in Eurobrux simulator 2 nice right flaps up landing gear up Okay, away we go. Yeah, I got Euro Truck Simulator as well. Whoops, sorry guys. I knocked the camera there. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. Hello, I'm Russian. How are you? 
Hey there, my Russian friend. I'm fine. How are you? Baron, one box trot Sierra. I'm still on the ground, but it sounded like one of your engines just quit. If your other engine's good, you should be fine to press on the Chelan. I've flown on one engine in that plane lots of times. And I guess we could do with some better maintenance around here. If I can catch up with you, I'll fly down to the lake to see how you're doing. Right, so we just lost engine one. That's what we do, take off the throttle off of engine one. Take off the propeller off of engine one, take off the mixture off of engine one, and we'll try and trim the aircraft to fly level on one engine. So we adjust the ailerons over to the right slightly. There we go. So we're flying on one engine. Only one's working, not bad, eh? <laughs> Eight, what are your name? GTA Capone. Well, that's my gamer name anyway. So you can call me Mr. C. You can call me Capone. If we really get friendly, like if I get to know you well, you can call me even Capone. <laughs> One of my friends used to always call me that. When we was running around in the hood dance. Right, so we need to get up as high as possible. York 4588, your real name. My real name's Anthony. What's your real name? Okay, so we need to fly down, trim the aircraft left a bit. We need to fly down the river slightly. There we go. There's no way we're going to get over those mountains with one in. Yep, the left engine quit, just like last time. Right engine's never given me any problems. You'll make it back just fine. Matter of fact, I'll race you. Joke 4588, my name is Muhammad. Hey there, Muhammad. Greetings, mates. Nice to meet you. Alright, so we've got a full throttle going on here. Right, we would set it to autopilot, but if we did that, it'd probably mess up my uh, aileron trim, so we'll have to manually fly on one engine. But we should be alright, everything's looking nice and stable. Chris Brown yesterday. Nice! Oh wow. Where did you meet Chris Brown? Did you go to a concert or something? I'll tell you mate, that guy is really talented. I love his songs. Very, very talented. So that's your claim to fame. Nice! Seems like we're um, turning in a circle, so what we'll do is we'll trim the rudder slightly to the, uh, the right. Actually, that looks pretty stable now. It's a slight... Yeah, we'll trim the rudder slightly to the right. There we go. That's looking good now. There we go. So the ailerons are trimmed to the right. Rudder's Base, trimmed to the... Base, 163. Base, go ahead. Yeah, the Baron lost the left engine again. It's slipping home, so you'd better get the shop cleared out. 
Roger, one six three. We'll be ready for him. Right, what we we'll do? We we'll see if we can climb from now. If we can climb high enough, we'll try and go over that mountain. If not, we'll have to go around the river. So we'll increase our climb speed quite a lot. Starting to get into a tailspin, so we'll adjust our rudder slightly a bit more. Yeah, the nose is dipped again. So we can climb up a bit more. Which your 4,588 what other games do you play? Okay, well. Uh, I play loads of games. I play Grand Theft Auto, even though I haven't played that in a little while. Let's drop that down. 100 miles, 100, 100 knots is fast enough. Right, I'm starting to get into a tailspin, so just to run a bit more. Yeah, I play GTA. I play Euro Truck Simulator. I play American Truck Simulator. I play both of those on Oculus, Oculus Rift as well. I play... Oh, I just ordered... Uh, Jurassic Park Evolution, Jurassic World Evolution, so that's, that should be coming out tomorrow, so I'm hoping to jump on that tomorrow. Um, what else do I play? I play Forza, I play Gran Turismo Sport, I play Project Cars 1, 2, Formula 1 2017, FIFA 17, FIFA 18. Is it FIFA 18 or is it FIFA? Yeah, FIFA 9 came out this year. Yeah, FIFA 18. Right, what are we looking at? Can we get over this mountain? Come on, girl, you can do it. Right, let's have a look now. See, I don't want to use no. Uh, it's a bit more climb. I don't want to use no flaps because that will take away our speed and we need every mile an hour that we can get. Yeah, um, come on girl, you can do it, come on. I don't know if we're going to get high enough. It's looking tight. Yes, I got Watch Dogs 2, even though I don't really play it right. We're not going to make it over that mountain. So we'll have to uh, just cut it as tight as we can. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it over there. It's just a touch too close. Yeah, I got Watch Dogs 2, but I don't play it that often. I think I played it once or twice and then I switched it off. Did the same thing with Hitman 2, Hitman as well, not Hitman 2. Yeah, I played quite a lot of games. I, I was playing um, House Flipper the other day. I was playing uh, Railway Empire. I got that. Um, God of War, played that, meant to finish that, I got Detroit Becomes Human, haven't finished that, I don't finish a lot of games, only a few games I'll finish, um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, I finished that, I enjoyed that, I mean that's a really good game, um, 4,588, are you married? Yes. <laughs> yes, there is a Mrs. Capone. Alright, where are we going now? We're going over this way. Alright, we're at the pinnacle before we start losing speed here. Yeah.
No, we're not going to make it over there, definitely not. Yeah, see, we've already lost too much speed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, girl, come on! That's it. That was close. Yeah, that would have been very, very bad for our health. Four thousand five hundred and eighty-eight is she fine? <laughs> um, of course she is, man. She's married to me. <laughs> yeah, she's she's all right, man. She's a she's 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 my baby. You know what I mean? She's a stunner for me. Are you planning on getting married? Or are you married already? Alright. This aircraft trimming has gone a bit skew if now. Alright, there we go. I don't need to climb any more height. Right, let's trim the aircraft for level flight now. <laughs> Alright, okay. A few more years to go then, yes? That's alright. Enjoy life while you're young, mate. I mean, 14, no responsibilities, no bills to pay. Alright, let's trim the aircraft so we can get a bit of speed. Alright, we're losing altitude, which is fine. Bit of turbulence there. What's our fuel looking like? Uh, oil temperature fuel. That's the fuel flow. Oh, we've got full tanks, so yeah, we got plenty of fuel. Right, let's trim the rudder slightly. So we can get straight and level flight. Very nice. That engine's done, mate. Jock 4588, do you have any children? Yeah, I've got, I got a daughter. She's older than you. Yeah. She's a young woman. any brothers or sisters mate
almost there. About 15 miles to go. It is Ramadan right now. In five days, it's going to eat. Indeed. Yes. So you've been on fasting, have you? Nice. Job 4588. I have five brothers and four sisters. Wow, big family. Nice. <laughs> That's nice, man, when you got a big family. So whereabouts in the world do you live, my friend? And what do you want to be when you grow up or grow older? Not grow up. What do you want to be when you grow older? Job 4588 USA, North Carolina, Durham. Nice. I've got a mate in who lives in, uh, oh no, no, not Carolina, Jersey. And I just come from Miami. I was in Miami about a month ago. That was great. Loved every minute of it. First time in America. What's the weather like in, uh, Carolina. Over here it's, well, we're in the middle of our summer. We're, in, we're having a pretty good summer. But over here it's probably, what, about 22, 23 degrees. That's pretty good for England. You know, when I was in Miami it was like 27, 28, 29 degrees every single day. I mean, at night time it was a... Uh, 24 degrees at night, so yeah, it was real nice. I'm gonna go to Singapore though, planning to go to Singapore possibly next year. All depends on uh, the weather, uh, the finances and stuff. And also, Mrs. Capone's got to approve it, you know. one of those relationships where Job I'm the boss because she says I am. What is to be the CEO of my own company. Nice! <laughs> okay. Job 4588, the weather is hot all the time. Okay. Was you born in North Carolina? And what company do you want to make, like... What, what is your company going to do? He's five miles west. He's already there. No way we're gonna catch him. I'm 6.4 miles. Alright, what we'll have to do is have to have a quick look at the runway and then just dive bomb it. See if we can beat him there. Five miles away. We can't use the radio. Your four thousand five hundred and eighty-eight. No, not really. You don't know what you want your company. What you want to do? Well, I'm sure you got you got plenty of years to figure it out. I mean, no rush. But it's good that you're aspiring to be a CEO. You know, work for yourself. Work smart, not hard. 
you know. Work smart, play hard. That's what I believe. Okay, that's the runway there. So what we got to do? Right, the wind is coming in from one three. So we got to come around to the left. Oh, one six three, turning final to land. Yeah, he's gonna beat us. We're never gonna get there before him. Okay, so we have to come in from a left approach. All right, we're coming in. At, the wind's coming from one three. So it's a crosswind. Oh my days! This is going to be tricky. Control 4588, you said it is boring in North Carolina. No. No, I don't think it's... Well, I don't know. I've never been there. And you could answer that. Is it boring in North Carolina? Okay, there we go. Right, so when we get to... Let's have a look at the map now. Um... Okay, there we go. So when we get to Sheelan Town Centre, just over the Town Centre, we'll turn left and head in. Actually, we'll, st we'll t start turning from now. Right, so, throttle set to idle. Yeah, we're more than enough. That's Sheila below us. Okay. So we're gonna come in around the mountain. We'll be coming around the mountain. No, not really. I thought you said is it going to North Carolina? Is what going to North Carolina? I, uh, I said how is it going in North Carolina. I think we got mixed up there. Bit lost, bit miscommunication, I think. I'm not sure. Alright, there's the runway anyway. Alright, landing on one engine. This shall be interesting. Right, we're gonna need to get a bit more altitude. Let's zoom out slightly. I can't zoom out anymore. Right, 3,000 feet. It's coming down 2,800. Fan one, Fox Sierra. I have you in sight. The pattern is clear, and the wind is a direct crosswind at about 12 knots. Yep, thought so. Crosswind. So, lining up for the runway. Landing gear down. Flat set, one notch. Flat set, two notch. Okay. Looking good. Jock 4588, I meant I thought you said is it's boring in North Carolina. No, no, I don't know if it's boring in North I said, I, I, I probably said what's going on in North Carolina. Right, I'm going to need a bit of throttle here because we're slightly off. The crosswind is starting to take us over a bit. There we go. Right, straighten up the nose slightly. Oh, we're coming in sideways. We're coming in sideways. This is going to be rough. Ooh, ooh. There we go, get down, get down, there we go. Lovely. Alright. Bit of brakes. Oh wow. Baron one Fox one. from Sierra, welcome back. Taxi over to the maintenance hangar and we'll get that mechanic right on it. Won't take long. We need that airplane for some flights this week. Both engines are ready for an overhaul, but uh, we can get a few more hours out of them. Right, so they want me to taxi over to... thingy. 
I think what we'll do is we'll come off the runway. Rudders all over the place. Uh, Put it in here. There we go. Struggling to keep it straight. Oh, let's put a bit more rudder on it, even though that's not going to make no difference. Oh dear, she's all over the place. Job 4588, can you play some music every day for Logic and Marshmallow? Every day? I don't know about every day. I like Logic though. Logic is a brilliant rapper. One of the best, I think. Right, uh, what we'll do, there's the mall. So, uh, I wanted to buy the maintenance hangar. Let's put it right over here. Oh, we'll park it right over here. There we go. Safe and sound. Landed on one engine. Not bad, eh? Flaps up. Yeah, I'm gonna sign off now. So I'm not gonna be able to play no music right now. Right, propeller zero, mixture set to idle. Engine off. Lights off. Heater uh, off, the eyes are off. Avionics off. Alternator off. Master battery switch off. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. My name is GTA Capone. I'm going to sign off now, but I'll probably be back tomorrow. Well, I'll definitely be back tomorrow. And uh, we'll do a bit of streaming, playing some of this Jurassic Park evolution. Take easy, guys. Thank you, uh, Miyok, Mohammed. Nice to meet you. Hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I hope to see you in the next stream. Take it easy. Bye-bye.